Hey, how's it going? And welcome to a game called Life is Strange. I have wanted to play this game for ages. I always just played other games. I don't know why. I sort of kept ignoring this one. But it's really, it's meant to be really good. In this one you play as a girl in high school who has superpowers or something? Yeah, let's play. Jesus. Off to a great start. Are you dead? Are you okay? Oh, you're alive. Where am I? What's happening? Uh, we seem to be in the middle of a storm. Plan. You're a sensible girl. Please let me make it there. Well, this is off to a start. <laughs> oh god. I really should be inside. What the hell? Blackwell Academy? Oh, someone's been up here. Holy shit. What's just one word? Fucking hell. So surreal. That was a dream. Little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light mm. to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? That's not crap, that's cool. I can hear the class laughing at me now. I like it. Yeah. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I can't I believe can't I still tortured. have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Seriously, but though, I like it old school. Yeah. In a dark corner. I haven't and kept up with my journal as much as I should. Uh -huh. And any one of you could do that to me. Oh, Polaroid camera. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. No, you shouldn't. Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Oh, that's very creative. I'm not gonna read all of it. <laughs> Cute cat. Huh. Alright. I should take a picture to prove I'm, I'm still here. Plus it's perfect for I my portfolio. Robert and I have to get my daily selfie Me quota. Too, he captured the essence of this is a bad idea. America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Mm. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I don't like you. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? 
You're asking... Uh, I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis uh. Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Kiss ass. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. The portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. Oh, thank God. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Hmm. This might make a cool shot. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. Uh. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent- I want to slap people. you. You have just by participating. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Mm. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. Yep. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you just don't even believe but it. You do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, maybe she just likes taking pictures. Is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Do I hand in the picture or can I leave now? You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just getting you Welcome right. to the real world. Oh, God. Hot. Then I might send you a special <laughs> picture. Oh, what kind of picture? Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point? She plays it so shy. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I think you look cool. I hate that class. It's so freaking boring. Oh god, this is reminding me of secondary school. Ooh. Music. I'm acting like I know the song, I don't. Don't text and drive. Solid advice. Hello, Evan. I'm away. Where is toilets? Justin, Dana, Daniel, I'm sorry you're getting bullied. Brooke, you look lovely. Halloween party. Who's missing? It looks like she's been gone for months. 19, Rachel Amber. Stop bullying now. Yeah, that's gonna work. Stop. Watching the world nope, that's from the bright well. side. Ooh, toilets. Yeah. Guessing we're near Halloween then? Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Oh, we love a good meltdown. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Nah, you're just a teenager. <sighs> mm. 
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, duh. That was a good picture. Oh, hello. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. I hate Victoria something. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. No. Nice butterfly. Stay still. Smile for the camera. You get it? Um, this is the girls' bathroom. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. You're not acting very confident. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's There's a drug family, deal? Not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can mm. tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I oh, am oh, or who shit. you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing don't down! ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick! Uh, People try Max, stay hidden. This is not safe. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. Um. Now what? Oh. Shit. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? Oh, I, I can time travel. Bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand, and then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow, from color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? I think so. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunt. Oh. Okay. Can I rewind so I can fix my camera? I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm a human the time machine. <laughs> What's a handy skill? Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Damn it, like everything is the same. Sad when children. I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Okay. Keep it to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max <coughs> has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? Oh. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art. Are you going to stop her from going into the bathroom? Let's go to the bathroom Long quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Ooh, can I answer this this time? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away with uh... that. We can talk more after class. 
It's an important matter. Is there anybody I need to save someone. Jefferson wants to keep me Who after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again? This I can mean to use of fact that you may be able to use if you rewind. Making them extremely... Uh, Max, since you've kept the Daguerrean process, the Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. <laughs> nice work, Max. <sighs> Sucks to be you. Bitch. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Great, let me leave. And guys, don't forget to to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Not too much. Not yes. a lot of pressure then. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Mm. I see you, Max Caulfield. Looks like... Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your interest. I don't have time for this. I'd never let one of photography's future. No avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just. Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let me go. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Thank you. Previous actual trip set by Mark and the Gage. Okay. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Shut up, bitch. Excuse us. <laughs> I've never let one of photography's. Sure, go for that. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Well, how many power to have? Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thank you. I don't suppose there's a sprint button. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Uh, please, please. I can't tell anybody. Oh, yeah, I can run. I'm crazy. Surprised no one's screaming at me not to run the halls. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. Um, maybe just stand out. I like... washed my face. I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in. Don't think you had to follow all and those I took steps. A photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? Oh. What are you doing? Set off the fire alarm. Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I'm so I need a hammer to break it open. To control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this ah. than drugs. Uh, Nobody uh. would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that uh. gun away from me, psycho! Holy oh. shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, no, 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 I can no, no. help her. Get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, no way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! That was close. Another shitty day. Also kind of saved you from jail, so... That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not, Do not freak out. I mean, I would freak out. It's a natural response to have, right. I think. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had Going. to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. 
Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in gear. Well, the alarm the trip out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Is everyone Leave in this game an arsenal? And please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Ha! Huh? What? Oh, wrong button, sorry. Hold on, Max. Ugh. Come back here. Yes. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm I'm just a little worried about my future. So I can go back in time. Balls. Is that all you're thinking about? Yep. You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Mm. Report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waiting It's not gonna get... Around. I think they said he's from a rich family, so Nathan it's not gonna do Prescott. any good. You sure? See? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right yeah, to Yeah, exactly. Up. It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most uh, and yeah. one of Blackwell's most honored students. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's You just said he's from a rich family. Most rich family kids so are arseholes. Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter person. That means no. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone yeah. won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Uh. Should I rewind and change? Nah, I can't be arse. I might as well have said nothing, but I don't want to change my story. I could have done, but I won't. Would Nathan Prescott please come <laughs> to the front office? Oh, squirrel. Hello. Can I take a picture? You having a nice day? Oh, that's a creepy ass photo. Stella, where am I going? Oh, coins. Uh, Warren. Oh, too much texting. I'm meeting Lot Look up. My camera will be ready to see you shortly. Hope so. Who is this? Warren. Okay. Mom, Dad, Kate. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Cool. Where is the dorm room? Missing person. Hello, scary boys. This way, maybe? I'm liking this so far. It's cool. Dormitories. Yes. Oh, press A. Come on, Logan. Bring it, bro. So, is this like a boarding school type thing? Or actually, maybe it's a college. I didn't think of that. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Who is Warren? Oh, God, is that the bitch? Just... Yeah. Move. 
Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> you gonna let me in or nah? Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social media. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Why don't you go fuck oh, yourself? Yes, Victoria, I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Mm, I see ladder and I see paint. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Samuel. Can I Is Samuel going? Ooh, Samuel's going up with paint. Interesting. Could you speed it along? What can I do? I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Ooh. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Use it then? I'm confused. Oh, I did too much. Well, now I can use it. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look... Great. I can't even chill on the steps. <laughs> oh, she still won't let me pass. Hmm. Rachel owes the money. Pay up, bitch. Lovely. Yes, There's I only one way around this. Yeah, but I don't know how. How do I get him to drop the paint? Ah, okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Excellent, my plan is finally working. Or not. Oh, Samuel, is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Well, it's his fault. It's my on, fault. But on. I'm very happy we'll about it. Towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. <laughs> uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Let me in. Comfort. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Sweet. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. Can I go I in do now? Have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon esque. Nice. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Okay. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. No. Sorry about blocking you and and oh. the go fuck your selfie. Thank you. That was unexpected. That was mean, but pretty funny. Good. Just one of those days, you know. Oh. I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Unexpected. Au revoir. Maybe that'll be 
Some good karma for me then. Victoria ah. probably played me. I should have. Yeah, maybe. But no, I think that might come around. And sorry, I didn't let her finish speaking. <laughs> Yeah. Well, she might not be. I talked to her. She seemed fair. Oh, cute. Play some music. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. You don't use it? I am so addicted to this site. I Look I at these vintage beauties. I only read the word porn there. I didn't see the word camera. Porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I have rather eclectic collection of TV, cult classic and fucked on films of fat on a flat eh, on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Cool. Oh, Mum. Happy birthday, Maxine. Can't believe it's been a whole 18 years. Oh. Max, press, Principal sent me an email saying that you told some tales about Blackwell honor students. Is that true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me a subject to talk about this mum. Oh, fuck off. Maybe I should have reversed time. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Tell your dad? That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. <laughs> what does your ex say? Keep calm and carry on. Oh god, that, was, that used to be a whole thing. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I, if I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. What am I looking for? Uh, oh, water my plants? You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Well, at least you remembered. This action will have consequences. The plant gonna come to life? Ahoy, Captain. <laughs> At least I know you've got my back. Is that his name, when Captain? When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Oh. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. The fuck? The cinematic contents of this flash drive are graphic, like life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace, Warren G. I really want to meet this guy. He sounds fun. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Cute. Ooh, play. Let's hear you, Max. Oh, wow, lots of photos. Was oh, this where she took the photo? And the one she ripped up. I'll do. Sorry. <laughs> uh, am I meant to be looking for the flash drive that the friend gave me? Or can I take a nap? Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. Who's the Chloe? longer I wait, the worse it'll be. 
idiots. Cool. I wonder if we'll speak to the blue-haired girl. Ooh, high five. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Okay, so she has a drive. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Where will that be? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Eh. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Um. I need to get in there. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room what because we're cool. <laughs> What'd she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. What did I do? talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, am I meant to know this? Olsen. Juliet. Ju Juliet Olsen. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Aha. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because... Juliet Watson, be nice. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I you didn't even think you knew my name at all. Yes. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. Really? You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Right, Victoria's room, I think was down here? Oh. I saw the girls. Ooh, and it's open. Perfect. I don't condone this behavior, but needs must. Let's see. Clothes, shoes. Good God, she's got nice things. And she's got a sofa. Book. What's this? Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. Oh. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Cool. How do I print? What does it say? Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Julia and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty text sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, believe me, and so I expect to be a dorm rampage soon. Do you know what deserves this for slotting Zach away from me? As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get all your popcorn. Okay, so she was jealous. Print email. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Should do. Also, why would you leave your laptop um, unlocked? Like, it's your own fault. <gasps> Email. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. Oh, I owe you dinner. 
still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. <laughs> now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Thank you. I'm calling myself Ninja now. No more Max. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Flash drive. Thank you. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> You're doing good, Dana. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria's not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. What's I'm a Vortex in it, Club? And Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. I like him. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. <laughs> yeah, okay. I gotcha. Hmm. Does Warren have a small crush on Max here? And do I go out to meet Warren now or go back to my room? Last drive. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. <laughs> okay, seems all there. Can I do anything with it? I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. Oh, have a I reflection. Have my self-respect. Leave. Guessing I'm going to meet Warren now. Don't know where though. I love this parking lot. I can cut all the cars. On my way. Right. Parking lot. Does Warren go to the school? Mm. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Why? Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Damn! Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. That's fair. Don't want to be your friend anyway. This actual have consequences. Oh god. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. It always makes me paranoid. It makes me paranoid when it comes up with that message. I'm like a small town hero. A small town ninja. So don't think I'm blind. I see oh? everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. I don't like this man. Intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying yeah. them. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're doing a shit you're job. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Hmm, I don't like him. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It you're means welcome. a lot. Anytime, Kate. I'm being helpful. 
I felt like an everyday hero helping you. Oh, sorry again. 